morning. Good morning. Okay, welcome. Today I'm going to be talking to you about treasures and sort of where my life is. I stole a quiet moment. It's about, uh, what is it, 7 o'clock in the morning here. Kids are still in bed for about an hour, so I've got a little bit of time. Um, so this week I've been still COVID and I'm feeling kind of trapped thinking about Mexico and just thinking, I just want to buy, I just want to buy a place in Mexico and just run away. I don't know. I'm starting to feel the pressure of not being around people. So that's kind of where my head's at. I just feel like get some money together, run away. <laughs> just at least if I'm on a beach, I'll be, um, I don't know why, but that just settles me. And I got to stop thinking about what I have in this life and think about, you know, where God wants me to be. So I found a verse in Matthew, Matthew 6. And we're going to start at verse 19. Just let me read this. Take my glasses off. Um, it says, Do not store up for yourself treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourself treasures in heaven where the moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So, putting my heart back into the right place, um, I'm going to go forward and just try to concentrate on what I have and just be satisfied with what I got instead of looking for the next big thing. So, right now I have you guys. Right now I have art. And we are going to be uh, doing my birthstone because it's June. My birthstone is pearl. I find it kind of boring, but I guess not. So anyways, I've drawn out a sketch of oysters. And if you can see sort of roughly, because they're going to be real rough, these kind of look like avocados. So if you can get that shape, avocado in your head, we're going to get started using very, very, very little paint. I'm going to put this where I can keep going. My coffee. I got everything here, my water. Okay, so my paint palette. I decided that I'm going to quickly run a blue-gray color around the back um, with the sponge. Do it real fast. So the other colors I have, so I put blue, white, and gray in the center, or blue, blue white, and black in the center. I'm going to make like a, a blue-gray color. Wash it down real thin with that. And I'm going to make a weird green color with the blue and yellow, and I still have way too much of that. Little black, white, and a tiny bit of red because it's going to be a little pinky sheen on the pearl that's inside that oyster. So we're going to get started and put you guys over here so you can see the canvas, the whole entire canvas. I'll get my coffee out of the picture. Just a little bit. There, you got the whole darn thing in there. Okay, coffee. Cheers. I'm going to put this over here. Got my picture over here for looking at. So let me just take first this brush. <clears throat> Very little blue. I'm going to put it over here. Move that white. Mix it until I have like a sky blue color, which I do not want. Because we're under the water or on the beach. So it's going to be kind of a sand grayish sand picking up a little bit of blue reflection from the sky. So start with a tiny bit of blue and put it in there. So we've got gray sand. We still want to look a little bit blue, but not too much. So it's a real grayish blue. Tiny bit of black. Just keep working it at a time. I think that's the color that I'm going to go for. Wash that brush off. I'm going to sponge in the water here. And squeeze it out. Maybe I'll just quickly get this a little bit wet so that it spreads around. This is the quickest way I found to um, paint my background. I have it dry super fast. A damp sponge, not wet, 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 but damp. It's going to make that paint slide around too, just like normally would. Just going to take that on the edge of my sponge without grabbing those other colors. So I've got it all on there, 
the whole mixture that I made. I just didn't want it to be white, white, white. So we'll go around the edges. Now it's not white anymore, it's blue. Well, that's bungee, you don't need it anymore. Okay, okay. So let's get started with our shapes. I'm going to start off doing it in black. So you can see already I've got all that black there. I probably don't even need that pile. Put that in there. And I'm just going to start off with um, the avocado type shapes, I guess. So let me get started. Um, top one here. So I'm going to go up into this area with it. Just give me two seconds here. Get my fear out of the way. All right, let's do it. So leave some room around for your oyster shell. And it doesn't, even, it doesn't have to be pretty. Just we're going to have... Sort of it's going to go narrow on one end, but again, it does not have to be pretty. Um, uh, the narrowest end is going to kind of be the pointy end where the joint is. And it gets a little bigger and rounder around that part. Mm-hmm. But do you see how wiggly and how unperfect that is? Everything's going to kind of move around with the um, with the paint that we could have brought. So this one was a little bigger. I want it to be a little bit wider. We'll show it a little bit. It comes off it a little bit square there. We're attached. kind of messy. You can't really mess this up too bad, can you? Let's move and change the angle. Let's have it going this way. Bigger here, narrower there. You can always change it with paint. Don't worry if it gets inside there. No two oyster shells are really the same either. So there's no right way and wrong way to do this. Um, go on here. Let's bring it around, around that way. I do want them all touching. That's just me. If you don't want them touching, don't have them touching. It's up to you. Just find a direction where you want them to go. It's like someone just shucked them all. I think that's the word. Someone just shucked them all and uh, tossed them in a pile. And this is how they landed all, all willy nilly like. There we go. See that? There. Perfect. Okie dokie. So I'm going to go back in with my Inga brush or my medium size brush. And I'm going to, um, first of all, I'm going to need to make up um, a blue gray color again. So taking that blue oops, and some black, making a blue black color. I'm going to add a little bit of white in there. Too much white. But it's a deeper bluey black color. If you want, you can throw a tiny bit of yellow in there just so it's got a different. So I threw a little bit of yellow in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to. Um, Encircle the fat part, thin it out a little bit. 
and to put a little bit of water in there. Just get messy with it and give it a, a sort of a, a rounded shape. That will make it look round on the inside. Don't do the whole thing, just messy. See how messy that is? Mine's kind of watered down a little bit. Just throw some little colors in there on a roundish, on a roundish thing, and that'll that'll give it that illusion of being like a pocket for where the pearl's gonna fit in. Do do do! I found the pearl of greatest price. Da, 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 da. So there's an old hymn. No, I'm I love to go wandering. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was the pearl one. It's going to be a whole bunch of messy colors in here, and it's going to look so stunning when it's done. Move that over just a tad. I like to be fast because we'll probably end up blending these. So if you are just watching this first and then painting it, um, do one at a time. That kind of helps. Let's make a little bit more of a yellow color. So add just a bit more. I'm uh, not yellow. I mean green. Add a little bit more yellow to your mixture. And then touch it a bit with water. Just throw some, a little bit of this greeny stuff in here as well. Really messy though. Blend it in with that stuff. Don't blend it in. Doesn't matter too much. Pull the color off your brush. You take take some straight white, straight white now. Now go in the center. Um, you're gonna enclose that space, but just quickly go in the center um, of all of them if you're doing them all at once. I'm trying to avoid the color, but I'm putting it on really thick in there, like you can actually see um, blobs of it on here, because we're gonna blend that in. And none of it has touched the color yet. We're going to mix that in a little bit, smooth it out. So if I have a lot of thick color in here, that's good. Because then I can sort of blend it together a bit. So I'm going to go in, pick up some of that color just along the edges, bring it in. But don't completely get rid of your white. Okay. So let me bring it closer and show you down here in this bottom one here so you can see that here's all my regular color big blobs of white so i'm going to go in blob bring it into that and bring it back into the white a little bit so that it's a little bit blended don't worry if you go over that black line that's going to disappear anyway but you don't want that white to completely disappear and then just do all of them just no stark lines Inside the shell, it's kind of rounded and smooth, and it's like a little round pocket. And it's going to have like the sheen. So always try to make it a little bit roundy. Just As you bring that white in, you're going to pick up some of that color. You can go over the blue so it's not so stark. Try again with this one here. With this one here. So I'm going into that color with my big blob of it and just sort of swoop it this way round, just so it's all kind of blended and rounded. But you still got so you've got these swirl lines here, but you've got that white little pocket. No harsh lines anywhere. 
messed up. Messed up color. If you get too much in your brush, wipe a little bit off. And it's okay if you got it and all your color came in and you don't have any white left. Don't worry about it. We can just go back in a little while and we'll um, we'll just add some white once we dry that off just a little bit. Just want to have a little bit of um, the blue-black, darker blue-black color. So I'm making another little bit of that. Another bit of blue black over here. Don't need a whole bunch, so just I made it. I made way too much of it. But I'm gonna add a little bit just in the skinny end. A little bit darker. Just swirl that so it's like a shadow in here a little bit rounded just in the narrow part of the pocket so it looks like it's really deep in there so the darker it is the deeper the hole just my thoughts and which is a skinny end this is a skinny end it's picking up a lot of that white But it's still super messy. I hear little feet upstairs. Little feet, little feet. That's looking pretty good. All right, now, now to make some dark green. Um, let's first of all, uh, yeah, we're gonna go around this with white. Uh, no, let's make a gray color. Put some white over there. Take a little bit of black. Pull it back. We're gonna make some gray. Oops. Yeah, we've got a great color. <clears throat> and I'm going to go around in here, just blobbing in around. You know how crusty the oyster shells are? So that's original lines that we made. And we're just going to unsmooth those lines. If yours were smooth, just crust them out a little bit. And I just damped my brush off. So whatever gray was sitting in there. Trust the process. This doesn't look finished. It's not. So just do what I'm doing. Get messy. How's your week been going anyway? It's starting to feel the effects. COVID and confined and cooped up. I know that uh, big plans for July the 4th, we're going to go down, I'll go down every year and my son was in uh, Birch Bay. And they have a big 4th of July party. Fireworks and Food and friends, sort of an annual event, and can't go now. Change the date again. So I'm just going to make it a little bit more gray. I'm running out. Um, yeah, they changed the date again, so. 
July 21st. That's kind of past it. So. That was kind of a downer. Those little things, you know, when you're expecting stuff, they can really get to you and mess with your head. I'm pretty strong-minded, but I'm telling you, this is getting to me. Being around people. But, you know, I do find myself talking more with strangers. <laughs> There's somebody there. I'm just going to start talking to them. I don't even know them. I'm finding people are starting to talk back with me, so it's all kind of cool. So I'm going right back to um, my center with this gray. Do, do, do. I'm going to do some really weird stuff around these oysters after just to fill the canvas up. And we're going to force the messiness, forcing it, forcing it. Forcing it to be messy. So if you're one of my painters that are really super neat, this might be a good exercise for you. Exercise and messy. There we go. Okay, so there's all my oyster shapes. I'm going to add um, green, but uh, hmm, let's put a little more yellow in our green pile. We don't have any, just because you know sometimes um, seaweed can give you that weird slime that will build up. So we're going to do a few tinges of that on the inside while that, I might sneeze, while that gray starts to um, dry a little bit. Let's throw a, a little bit of green in here just where you can see it. Maybe just off the edge of that so that it's like it's built a little bit up inside of here. And that's just kind of sitting on, maybe it's just on the edge of this one. I'm not even blending that in. That's the seaweed just gonna stick to this one. I like it, I like it. All right. <clears throat> So with this gray, let's take a little bit of that green and move it into the gray. So I just took a little bit of that green, moved it over into my pile of gray. Maybe I need a little bit more. Don't know. Never know. It's always good to make a little bit extra just in case. Now. Mess it up inside of the shell. Don't want this to be like a solid, solid gray. So I'm going to mess it up. Throw a little bit of that gray green color. And more. I don't have my blow dryer here, so I'm hoping. Just hoping. This is so subtle, you hardly notice it. But by the time we get through putting all the colors in here and stuff, that it'll be dry enough for me to throw some white. So here's the tricky part what I'm going to do. I'm kind of going to use my black as a watercolor. 
So in one of my divots, and if you don't have one, just find the edge of your plate, put a few drops of water, and then take a little bit of black, just a tip of your brush with black, move it in there so that you have a little bit of black, watered down black. I'm gonna try at the bottom because it's gonna run a little bit. I wanna go around the edges of these and see, oh, that's too dark. So just a little more water. There we go. You don't want it to run so much. I'm just gonna go around the edge of this pearl. Maybe it wasn't too dark. I don't want it to be the same as the pearl, but just somewhere in there. Oh, there we go. You want to see it. So I'm just basically going to go around each pearl with this watery black. So I'm going to do a little bit here at a time. So quiet. It's amazing. Just blobbing it on there. And then I'm going to wash off my brush. So I've got it a little bit damp. Take a little of the excess off. And then just with the edges of this damp brush. Just go to the edge. Leave it dark right around the shell. I'm going to take a damp brush. Take off the excess. Go around between. It's okay if it drips a little bit. Okay. But when you get up here, make sure you don't have as much water. Just go to the edge of your black. Touch the color a little bit and just mess it around, leaving it dark near the shell. But mess around with that a little bit. Well, it's almost gonna look like watery showers, but it's a really cool effect. All right, so then just go back and Go with your black around the shell here, watery black, and around here. So we we'll just do a little bit at a time. How's that? Do a little bit at a time. So it's distinct. We can always add more later. And wash your brush off. Take some of the excess off. Go to the edge. Don't want this to drip now because I don't want it running through that middle oyster. Starts to drip, just start dragging it out farther. That is a really, really cool effect. If you want this darker, just go and throw some more in there while it's wet. It's going to move around in a weird way and look really cool. Right there, it's dripping. And quickly blend that out. That looks so good in real life. I hope you guys get that. Um, okay, so just go all the way around your painting and fool around and do that. It can stay nice and dark right in this space here. I'm not even going to make the watery part. I'm just going to leave that black in there. And two, with this, if you think that you don't like the shape of your of your oyster, you can start cutting in a little bit with that black. And change the shape of your oyster shell. You 
You see how stark that is, that line? Let's mess it up. All the water out of that brush, just to the edge. Clean the water out. And just slowly bring that out farther. Mess it up a little bit. We're not doing the whole canvas. See, there's a little bit that I'm leaving there. Absolutely does not have to be perfect. That is the whole charm of this thing. I'm going to bring it up close and show you uh, what that looks like. Look at that. See how messy and flared out it is? That's going to add a little something to your shell as well. Okay, I've got to make some more watery black. And I'll stop talking for a little while. If you start to lose <clears throat> the black, like I'm starting to lose my black in here, just go back in and add it. All right, I'm in so in love with this, so in love with it.
some people don't like the talking, so <clears throat> I don't have to talk. I probably won't. Ooh, extra water in there. Oh, it's beautiful. When this is done, it's like a super high-end painting. It's just messy. Messy, messy fun. My black is turning, <clears throat> it's turning too gray. So I add more black to my watery black mixture. Okay, I've surrounded them all now. Excellent. Just tap this one out a little bit and we're done. And I might fade out a little bit. Oh my gosh. You should see what happened down at the bottom. I just love what happened down at the bottom. It all flowed out like a real watercolor, so. Exactly what I was looking for it to do. This one is going to up your game. Totally up your game. Too much water here. Okay, let me show you what happened at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Look at that, the way the water made it. It looks like it's been washed up on the seashore, sort of. It was a happy accident. <laughs> it was a happy accident, but dang, I love it. I love it. So let's go in now. Hopefully we're a little drier in there. I take my round brush because there's not a lot of color. I'm going to go with some straight white. And I'm going to start going um, a little, a little thick. Doesn't have to be perfect lines, and please don't make them perfect lines. But you're going around your inside. I'm using pretty thick paint here because uh, I don't think I'm dry. But we need this bit to be white and imperfect. A little bit of that can swish up in here. Okay, so you've cased that in white. With your other, with the rest of the white, what you can do is you can sort of draw a little line here, which sort of where your shell is a little bit, a few white lines. I really want this to be dry. I'm going to have to go get my blow dryer. You guys can hang on for a second. I'm probably way ahead of you anyway. I'm going to smooth these out just a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to go grab my blow dryer. And I will be right back. I'll be right back.
Should have been prepared. Okay, sorry about the noise. I just want to dry this so that I'm like, don't have to struggle so much with the white, okay? Oh, that's got it then. Alrighty. So, I hope you can sort of see that shell effect that I'm going for there. Back to this one. Um, if it gets to be too dark, you can go back in with a little bit of black and bring in the edge of your shell. This is straight black. I'm just going to work on this one here. A little bit. I'm just sort of wiggling around. Oops, wiggling a little line around. Did you see where that wet black was? Just so I kind of know where the shell is. So just under that, leave that wet stuff. I like that. There. So that defines that one just a little bit more. You can throw a few little lines going, you know, around so it looks like it's the shell. Oh, that looks really, really, really good. Okay, you're just going to kind of sort of follow that pattern all the way around with your um, oyster shells. So, again, going to this one here around your color bit. Nothing too smooth. Just kind of like where it had the seal. So it can be a little bigger in some points, like right here on this corner. That's kind of where it would join. Maybe it just has a bigger white part right here around this edge. Sometimes I've seen that. But see how it's not perfect? It's all wiggly and unperfect there. I like that. Swirl a little bit more white in here if you want. Just to make that look a little rounder. I like it. Okay, I'm just going to worry about doing all the white right now. And I'll go back in with my black. And then you have to figure out how to do a pearl. I did put some red on there. Did that for a reason. A few white lines kicking around because the shell's kind of shale-y. Shale. Something like that. I hope you guys are messing around and having fun and not getting too serious about this. Just because it doesn't have to be perfect. None of us are perfect, but none of us are drunk either, so there you go.
Oh, do boo. I'm loving it. Loving it. More more more. Getting the hooks up. I actually think I might keep this painting. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, now going back into the black. Throw that white off that one. Go around uh, your shell again, like I said. Just wiggle, really light touch. Wiggle around the edge, but you want to leave that black. Nothing too fancy. Just make it messy again. Don't. I'm going to uh, bring it nice and close for you guys so you can see what I just did there. Let's go with this one. So there's my dark edge there. So I'm going to start just below that. It's wiggly. Hardly even. Hang on. Get some more. Hardly even. Oh, I'm getting a drip there. I love it. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. Should I do one more? Okay, because my I know I came off camera there, so we can see this one. Get you off a bit. Okay, right where this dark is here around the edge, I'm gonna go at it underneath it. Wavy. Because the shell is wavy. It's not perfectly round. Not perfectly round. Oh boy, I love, I love, I love this. I love it. Don't often say that. But maybe I said it with the um, jellyfish. Some of you did the jellyfish. I think it's all ocean ones that I'm in love with. Maybe I just need to get to the ocean. But I think so. I've been thinking about Mexico. I'm supposed to go down for the winter next year, but I don't think we're going to be able to travel still. Oh, love it. Okay, now I do have that red on there. So I'm going to make... A little bit of pink. So I'm taking whatever white I have left, which isn't much, because it's got greens and blues and stuff in it. I guess it doesn't matter. A little bit of greens and blues are going to hurt me. Touch, just a touch of red. See what that does. You don't want to go too pink with it. So a teeny bit at a time. I think I might have just gone overboard with the pink. Oh, I hear the new baby upstairs. Getting some more white. Oh, that's almost it there in this in this cavity. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of pink and we're going to go make this round on the inside. Just a little roundness. One more color in the mix. That's too much pink there. See how subtle these ones are? So I only hit it once. It's okay if it blends in with your other colors there and it gets a little dark. Can you hear the new baby upstairs? The new baby cry. Too much pink there, so I'm going to bring it out. Maybe I got a little more in this one. Wipe the paint off my brush. baby. I think he's just a week old up there. So if you get too much pink too, I don't have any more white, but you could kick it back with some white. Oh, I need white. For crying out loud. I have to put pearls in here. Look at how much paint is left over. Oh my gosh. Okay. A teeny bit more white. Now, 
Another thing I want to do, maybe go around and put a little bit of seaweedy stuff inside of, uh, on the shell on the outside. So, yeah. All right. So let's do that while I have it. Um, so it's going to get all the white off this thing. Uh, yellow and blue. Take a little blue and a yellow. Make a green. That's very limey green. Maybe a little more blue. A little more blue and then some black. It's a really gross, kind of an army green. And then I'm going to water it. Water it down some. It's kind of a gross army, kind of a green. And I'm going to stick a little of that in here. I was just thinking some that just sort of attached itself on the shells. So where that black is. Not all the way around though. Okay, so I made it a little bit watery. Let's go show you with this one here. So in here, just where that touched there, maybe it got a little bit attached itself. Right on that line that you just drew, mess it up. See how now it looks like it's a bit of a seaweed on the outside, left a kind of a green slime on the outside of your shell. Not too much, just a little here and there. got in maybe a little bit got into the insides I don't know there okay that's perfect oh this is so fantastic so fantastic I think if you did even more of the black going around the outside it would be even cooler um well, let's figure out a pearl now. So we'll start with um, white. Where are we going to see if these pearls? Maybe they don't all have pearls, but I'm thinking pearls are usually. Let's put one right here. I don't. I don't know where they sit. We can't really see this one. So it's just going to be round. Let me take your black teeny bit of black on the edge of my little round brush. I'm just going to go around the outside of this. There we go. And back in with the white just to get rid of some of that black line. Okay, so I did a white, then went around it with a little bit of black line. Um, now you're going to take some of that pink. Maybe just a little bit redder of a pink so that you see it shine. Round part of it. Um, got a little bit of light blue. Which didn't really work. Back to the white. I can see it. It's kind of disappeared a little bit. So if it's disappearing a little bit, go back to your black. Super fun. I'm going to make a little bit more black on the underside. I 
Maybe water it down just a tad. Take all the water off your brush. Get most of that off there. And then on the edge. So I've done that. Now I'm just going to water it out a little bit. So that it looks like a little shadow underneath it. So it looks like it's sitting. Get my black back on there. Move this around. Okay, so I watered it out a little bit so it looks like it's sitting there. So it was a black line, watered it out. Now it just looks like a shadow for where it's sitting. Let's start over again. On another one. All right, and then I'll do them all and I'll come back to you. So, um, kind of have them all sort of sitting at the bottoms of your shell. I don't know whether this, in real life, do they all attach there or are they anywhere inside the oyster? I'm unsure, but I want them to all kind of be at the bottom. So I'm going to start with this one. Just going to do a circle here that you may or may not see. Okay, so there's that. Wash my brush off. Oh, I'm going to put a little pink tinge in the corner, so just a little pink tinge somewhere, maybe there. I want too much there. A little bit of a pink tinge. And then I'm going to take a tiny little bit of black, roll my brush in it so that it stays pointy, and I'm going to go around. A little hard for me to do this way. I'm going to go around very delicately around my pearl. A little heavier on the bottom where it's going to sit. Take all the water off your brush. I mean all the paint off your brush. Try to get rid of the water that's on there mostly and then go back in it and fade some of that out but keep it round. I faded too much out so take a little more straight black go in there. It's got a little shadow underneath and that'll look like it's sitting in there. So you're going to go around all of those. If it looks too stark, just lighten it up a little bit, add a little more white. So it looks a little more natural sitting in there. So that's our pearls. I'm going to sign this and uh, finish off my pearls. You guys can carry on from there because that's all there is to this painting. My coffee went cold. My coffee went cold, and I will post the picture with this so you guys can see it. All right. So, thank you again so much uh, for joining me early, early this morning. Um, <clears throat> please post your pictures. If you guys don't uh, aren't a part of my Facebook group, it's at home with empty canvas, and just post your pictures there uh, of what you've got going on. Uh, share me and uh, my Patreon page link on Patreon. It helps me out. Um, yeah, help me survive in this starving artist kind of world that I just live in now because that's all I got. Um, but I do thank you. I appreciate every one of you for coming out. And I'm just going to pray with you now and then we'll sign off and we'll see you next week. All right. So, Father, just bless everybody who showed up today to paint with me. Um, Help us just to be satisfied with what we have and not worry about um, the things that we want. Just be satisfied with what we have. You feel, fulfill everything that we need and give us everything to take care of us. And I thank you and appreciate you for this time that I have um, that I can spend with these ladies. And just bless every one of them in your name, Jesus. Amen. All right, guys. We're going to see you next week, and I don't know what I'm going to be painting. I'm thinking of doing a series, though, on the Lord's Prayer, breaking it down and uh, doing parts of that. So interesting. Okay, later. Thanks for showing up.